Hey, data center and security admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's take a look how to launch a phishing simulation on your employees with GoFish. Click Sending Profiles in the left sidebar and click New Profile. In the resulting window, configure an SMTP server to be used for the campaign. Next, create an email template by clicking Email Templates in the left sidebar and clicking New Template. In the New Template window, create a template to be used for your campaign. When creating a template, it's important that you use variables, as shown in the article below. Click Landing Page and then click New Landing Page. In the resulting window, give the page a name, click Import Site, type the URL of the login page to be used, click Import, click the check boxes for Capture Submitted Data and, optionally, Capture Password. Do note, however, that credentials are not encrypted so you might not want to capture passwords. Finally, you must create a new group. Click Users and Groups in the left sidebar and click New Group. In the pop-up window, create a new group and then add or import users. These users will be the email addresses you send the phishing campaign to. After you've created a profile, template, landing page, and a group, you can now click Campaigns, and then click New Campaign. In the New Campaign window, fill out all of the information, selecting the new bit you just created. The only bit of information that might trip you up is the URL. The URL is that which populates the URL template value and must be reachable by the recipient. It also must be the domain or IP address of your GoFish server. Once you've filled out all of the information, click Launch Campaign, which will immediately launch the campaign to the recipient list you created in the Groups section. The recipients will receive the campaign and, very possibly, Click on the link. When they do, GoFish will record the data. You can then go to the dashboard and view the results, which will even inform you which users opened the email, which users clicked the phishing link, and which users submitted data to the clicked link. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.